So as some of you well know, I hurt my hand doing something incredibly stupid in a fit of stupidity and anger. I punched a security gate and now my hand is mm, pretty swollen. So until the swelling goes down, look forward to more of these. But other than that, today was pretty freaking awesome. Woke up, went to church with my mom, and then she and my dad went to an Angels game. And I've been properly brainwashed to knowing that the Dodgers are number one, so I did not go. And plus I wanted them to have like fun while on their own, of course. So it left me a lot of free time. Didn't know what to do this afternoon. So my brother convinced me to go get some pizza for me and him since we were both like freaking starving and all our food is like in bags or not not existent right now because, you know, we had to take out stuff for the fumigation people. We'll get to that later. So went to Little Caesars, got some pizza, got some hot wings, got some crazy bread, and while we're in the convenience store getting some sodas, uh, Mr. Mike P calls me and he's like, hey, you want to go to Little Tokyo? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And he says, invite Tuck. And I said, he's in Alaska, can't be done. And he's like, no, I just saw him on Wednesday. And I'm like, hmm, really? So I called Tuck and left him a message. I'm like, hey, you're in town? I'm like, why didn't you call me, you know? And then it dawned on me a little bit later that maybe he wanted to surprise me for my birthday. So I was like, hmm. And then he called me back. He's like, yeah, dude, I want to surprise you for your birthday. I'm like, oh, hearts. I was so happy that he was back. I'm like, I missed him so much. I just, oh, my gosh. I'm happy he's back, and I'm happy he had his time to go to Alaska and be one with the moose and all that other good stuff. And it's good to hear him that he's back. And uh, it turns out that he was going to go to Little Tokyo anyway. And then later down the line, I realized that I couldn't go because I had a lot of packing to go do because we were getting the house fumigated tomorrow. And I had to buy some stuff. And I, I just had a billion things to do. I was just like, crap, and I didn't have gas money. So I said, you know, I can't go. And Doug called me later and saying that there was, like, some kind of festival or something over there. And I was, like, really bummed out because I couldn't go and see him. But he says he'll see me on my birthday. So I'm, like, so totally, totally looking forward to that. I'm, like, Wee, so much fun. Oh, my gosh, I'm so happy. So, anyway, in between the stuff that I had to do, I found time to go to the mall with Saul. And, uh... Pretty cool stuff there. I got some handy and windy for my hands, and you know I'm all into that stuff. You know I had to get some eyeliner and other things, and just basically enjoying the company that I had. Since I hadn't seen Sobel since he moved, since like way before he moved, and he lives like two streets down from me, so which is pretty cool. And uh, at Spencer's we found this really 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 cool thing. Let me show you. It is stickers for your keyboard. That makes it into like a completely cool looking and different keyboard. Has skulls on it and stuff. I really like it. I'm like totally digging it. <sighs> if you've ever seen my keyboard before, you would know that the letters started to disappear off of them and each key started getting grooves in it. Each individual little distinctive grooves because I type in it so damn much. <laughs> So these stickers were pretty cool to put on there and cover it up and make it look pretty. And I was pretty happy about that. And me and him made our way to the Starbucks. We got a sorbetto, which was like frozen heaven. It was delicious. If you haven't gone yet, do go and get it. It's like really, really yum. So after that, I came home, spent some time with my family. And I this whole week has been like family week. I can't tell you the last time me and my family have had dinner together every night for a week. It was really, really awesome. Like, it's like I lost contact with them for so long, and now, like, we're just, like, a family again, and it's, like, really, really cool. Like, I'm very family-oriented, but lately, you know, life gets in the way of stuff, but I, I should never let, like, get in the way of my family, and, like, I love my family very, very much. So, uh, I just finished rescuing the cat from the dog. One of my dogs, a pit bull, the one that we're, like, dog-sitting because the guys in Juvie and my brother's friend decided to leave it with us for some weird reason. I tried to get a hold of my dog. I had to save the cat and uh, wash the cat because she was just, like, playing. She sh literally shit herself. It was really gross, but she's all clean now. And she really hates me right now. She's cleaning herself. I must get the <laughs> Oh, poor thing. Oh, and some other stuff I got at the mall. I got this really cool shirt. And uh, I've been wanting a leopard, a new leopard shirt. I mean, this isn't leopard, it's zebra. Uh, I've been wanting a zebra shirt for a while because the one I have is, like, way too big for me. 
because I lost a lot of weight, and it's, it was really difficult to find them before this became the new fad, so yay. And I got some new jeans because I lost weight, so yay, I needed new jeans, and I made a new hole in my belt, so I was, like, really excited. <laughs> I'm a big dork. Little things make me happy. So, then tomorrow, hopefully, this fumigation business is just done. Uh, we're supposed to go to the beach tomorrow and ride bikes. I'm like totally, totally, totally looking forward to it. I've been haven't been to the beach since last year, and um, I haven't ridden a bike in like, oh my God, since high school. She was I was like a junior. Or, oh man, I can't even remember the last time I rode a bike, man. It's been a while. Uh, I'm totally looking forward to it. Um, like really, really looking forward to hanging out with my family. They're on vacation this week, so. Hopefully I'll spend some time with them doing some fun stuff, and if not, then, you know, hopefully we'll still have fun, and, you know, talk to the family, of course. So, well, if you need me, you know where to reach me, but if you need me, come seek me, and I'll be around, and take care of yourself wherever you are. Tuck, I'm going to see you soon. I'm so happy you're back, and uh, wherever any of you are, be safe, be happy, be fun, be cool, okay? Mm-hmm. Bye.